Dance. Hey guys, welcome back to Demon's Dungeon. How's everybody doing out there? Y'all are doing great. I'm doing not too bad. Kind of sucks. I uh, just thought I'd give a little update. By the way, if you guys uh, enjoy this video or whatnot, don't forget to smash that like button. Um, if you're a new viewer and I entertained you or you enjoyed yourself here, please about subscribing to the channel. It would be much appreciated. So, as everybody knows from my uh, other stream yesterday, um, I kind of had a truck malfunction again. Kind of broke down. Kind of. I did. Um, what ended up happening is uh, on a semi truck we have what's called an air dryer. An air dryer, uh, basically. Okay, so so you have your air compressor on your truck, right? It sucks in air from the outside. The air travels through the air dryer. Okay, air dryer. It is what the name says it does. It dries the air, it takes the moisture out of that air, then it puts it in system air tanks which then goes into the rest of the truck system air brakes uh my case my transmission because it's automatic which is air driven um you know and a couple a few other things that that goes in so when your tr when your uh air tanks reach a hundred uh, 120 psi or air compressor is supposed to cut out, right? And there's a valve on the air dryer that will purge like a second. You go, Psh! I'm sure you've heard that on all semi trucks at some point in time. You've been sitting around a semi truck, sitting there idling, or whatever the case may be, and you hear this Psh! come out of the truck. That's the air release valve, purge valve, whatever you want to call it. Um, on my truck, my air dryer, that purge valve got stuck open. So in turn, it was constantly in air. Um, don't know exactly why this took place. Um, I did have some water in my air tanks, which I'm not too sure why because I, I drained my tanks not too long ago. It's been maybe. Four days, five days since I uh, drained my tanks. So I'm not exactly sure how that happened or why that happened. It could have been had, it could have had something to do with the whole other system malfunction that I had too. But the problem was solved. They, what they ended up having to do is they ended up having to replace my air dryer, which kind of sucked. Um, that was an expensive deal. I say expensive. I just this month has not been good on me um, out here with uh, tires. Um, you know the after treatment system fucking up. Thank God that was covered under warranty. Thank God because that was like an over four thousand dollar bill that uh, I uh, warranty covered. Did I say your insurance? I meant. I can't remember. Anyhow, um, unfortunately, the air dryer was not covered under my warranty because it's considered a, a part that what did they, what did they call it? it? It's like your brakes. You use your brakes up and they wear out. I guess the air dryer is kind of considered the same thing along that line. It's a piece of equipment on the truck that gets used where's uh, yeah i don't understand all that um basically my extended warranty did not cover it it only covers major motor compartments or more major motor parts um it covers a shit ton let me tell you there, my when i go home next time actually my truck's going in to have a lot of other a lot but some other th issues addressed um I'm leaking oil as well, but I guess where the engine and the transmission come together, there's a floating seal in there, and 
I guess it's gone bad or whatever. I got some oil on the back part, back in the back part of my engine. So that's got to get changed out. But at the same time, I'm going to have them do my transmission as well. Because with this automatic transmission, I'm having an issue with my clutch on it. I know. I said clutch. And I also said automatic transmission. In big trucks, they have a clutch in there that allows the transmission to slip. Like when you're first taking off, you know, just like letting out a clutch, it gradually picks up and then goes into gear. Well, same with an automatic transmission. It does the same thing. It's because of the torque that these trucks have. Like my truck has just over 1,700 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, with this bad boy so you got to have a little you got you got to have something that slips in there uh as it's powering up otherwise it's jerks you know what i'm saying and that's kind of what it's actually doing right now because what happens is the clutch the clutch is failing or there's or something's going on with the clutch that it's not working properly and when i hit the accelerator it just takes off you know immediately it wants to go and I'll tell you what, man, I banged some fucking docks pretty goddamn hard because of that. And I'm not one to do that kind of shit. I do not like banging docks. I don't look, I don't like looking like a swift driver when I'm trying to back into a parking spot because my truck is just boom, taking off. Every time I touch the accelerator, I'm having to slam on the brakes in order to get my truck to stop. And it's rocking and just, I'm just looking like a fucking idiot trying to back into these parking spots and docks out here. Yeah, and that's not acceptable for me. You know what I mean? After 22 years of driving truck, I think I can drive a damn truck pretty goddamn good if you ask me. And if you ask most people. But, so that that's that's the gist of what's happened. I'm up and running again. Um, the load that I had on Friday it was supposed to pick up at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Obviously, I did not get there. Uh, it was picking up in Kent, Washington. I was all the way down to... Just north of Portland, like just a couple miles, not not far at all. So, um, I didn't get out of there. Oh God, what was it? It must have been somewhere around nine o'clock local time, P uh, P T time, Pacific. And I had talked to the broker for the load, not the broker for that I originally got the load from. But the broker that actually set the load up for the company that I was picking it up from, you know, I explained to him what was going on. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I get you. You know, things like that happen. It's no big deal. We'll just get you loaded on Tuesday. Unfortunately, this is a Memorial weekend. So everybody's closed on Monday. Now I'm having to sit all weekend long until Tuesday morning to go get this load. <sighs> kind of sucks to have to sit. What is that? Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, five, five, count them, five fucking days of not making any money. And that's a lot of money that I'm losing. I'm losing, what, close to three grand. Uh, yeah, close to $3,000, give or take. But yeah, about, about 3000 fucking dollars in those five days, that's what I'm losing. I, I, I ask, my minimum of making money is $500 a day. I don't move my truck if I'm not making $500 a day. So, yeah, I usually on average make about 650 to 750 per day. If you, you know, divide the numbers out, you know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. I don't get paid per day. I get paid how much the load is paying for me to haul that load from point A the point B. That's how all that works. So some loads it's more, some loads it's less. Some I make a thousand bucks a day. Some I make, you know, uh, no less than five hundred dollars a day. Otherwise, I'm not pulling that load. So I'm losing a lot of fucking money having to see here five days. But it is what it is. Welcome to trucking. Welcome to owning your own truck. These are the things that happen. Unfortunately, they've been snowballing and kind of happened to me all at once in one month. You know, I've replaced what, four four tires at about 650 bucks a piece. Um, and what else did I do? Oh, then my after treatment system that went to shit to bed, that cost me a day. Thank God it didn't cost me no money to fix it. 
Uh, now this uh, air dryer sitting another day times five because I couldn't get the load. Um, so yeah, I, I've just lost a lot of freaking money this month and spent a lot of money this month. And it, it's really heart wrenching to be honest with you, or not so much heart wrenching, but it, it kind of gets you in the gut. You know what I'm saying? You get that good, sick feeling in your gut because you're not making the money that you're supposed to, that normally you make. And you just, you know, bleeding dollar bills. And, and I hate bleeding dollar bills. So just thought I'd give you guys a quick update on what was going on, where I'm sitting, all that kind of stuff. There is going to be probably, I'm probably going to be streaming tonight. This video is probably, I'm doing this video right now at 440 Eastern time. I always go by my time. Unless I'm picking up a load or delivering a load. That's the only time that I ever change my time when I look at a clock. 